I have another currently loving video for you guys today. Um, it's kind of like a monthly favourites, but I do it whenever I want rather than <laughs> the end of a specific month. Um, I don't know when the last one of these was that I did, but I suppose it has been over the past month or so. Um, these have been the products that have stood out to me. And there is one very, very recent beauty product that I want to talk about as well. As in like in the last week, I discovered it and suddenly really, really enjoy it. So I wanted to mention it and it will be in Thursday's video, I believe, that I first used it. So first of all, the thing that made me really want to film this video today um, is this. It's the Mask Bar Hydro Gel Eye. These are gel eye patches. They come like this. You can see like the shape that they would be. They're a bit like yin yang. Oh no! I was pouring liquid. <laughs> pouring valuable serum all over my table. Anyway, um, you get the idea. They're kind of those gel eye patches that you put underneath your eyes. Now, I really liked the idea of these because there are 30 in here. I think they're around 29.99, so just under a pound per pair. The reason that I initially thought I was gonna like them is because I've been really liking the kind of refreshing nature of the gel patches underneath my eyes. And I've been just, I mean, I like a face mask. I like a sheet mask anyway, and it's the equivalent. But these are completely amazing. I didn't genuinely think they would do anything long-term or um, really visible. But those of you who have been following me for a while will know I have got quite a bit of pigmentation. It's called melasma. You can kind of see it there. And it kind of looks like um, a bath underneath my eye, like a little ring around my eye. That has diminished so much. And it's not even something that I was looking to get rid of. I have tried things in the past when I first got this um it's like a pregnancy mask so after i'd had milo i did try some products to try to get rid of it uh, and i realized it wasn't really working and if anything it's getting worse over time and in the sun and all that stuff a little bit like freckles they come out worse in the sun um and i didn't i was just kind of not really that bothered about it and i used these and i'm noticing it is seriously fading i can't believe it because i did use a lot of products back in the day to try and get rid of it nothing really worked um nothing worked as well as this anyway so that's been a completely unexpected thing with these and I will be repurchasing them. I don't know if I'd use them every single month because 30 pounds a month is a lot. You know, you wouldn't buy a 30 pound eye cream every month, would you? But these are amazing if you've got dark, I don't wanna say dark circles, but darkness or pigmentation around your eyes, try these because I've been really, really shocked. I've been leaving them on for a really long time um, but and I haven't seen any adverse reaction to that. So I think maybe that's got something to do with it, but amazing so that was the main thing that i wanted to talk about in this video but i didn't really want to make a video just about that uh so the other products that i've been enjoying beauty wise talking of like kind of covering things up this matte concealer it's the pro long wear concealer it's this serum is just everywhere it's getting all over everything pro long wear concealer the color that i've got is nc20 um this is something that i picked up kind of on a whim when i was in london and i had makeup that was just melting off my face and I was opposite a Mac store and thought I'll go in there and get something and then kind of touch up my makeup before we go to whatever event that I had planned to go to. So I went and got this, um, thought not a lot of it at the time because I didn't like the way that the artist put it on my face um, and then I ended up using it at home and I love it. It lasts so well. I know it's called Pro Longwear but you never know with these things. I've been using this by itself um, without using a foundation or anything underneath it, just using it in the areas that I want to brighten up this around my nose here on my chin and it lasts so well the coverage is the longest coverage maybe that i've ever seen outside of kind of estee lauder double wear and estee lauder double wear concealer is very heavy and i find this to be much lighter doesn't fall into the creases around my eyes it's it was a, a total dark horse so again both of those products unexpected favorites something i've mentioned before is the purology color fanatic um, I knew that I loved it. I didn't know how much I loved it until I ran out. I went maybe two, three weeks without the big bottle. And I've been using this since I went on holiday and it is just the best, best leave-in conditioner. It does tons of different things, but I'm considering it to be a leave-in conditioner. It does also um, act as a heat protectant, it does, you know, other stuff. But it just smooths, it makes my hair just look so much better. It is probably my number one hair product. There are other things that I like, but that's the one that consistently for the past year I feel like does the best thing for my hair. Something that I picked up in America was this Elizabeth and James, is it Elizabeth? Yeah, Elizabeth and James Nirvana, and it's the Nirvana Black. It comes in black and it comes in white. I've got the Duo Rollerball set, and I love this. Someone told me in a video that you're supposed to put them on together. You know what, it reminds me so much of something. I think it's a nostalgic smell. Does it remind me of like an impulse? I hope not, because that really cheapens it. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of something. 
from my youth and I don't know what it was. Maybe it was like a hair product or something that smelled like this. I love this stuff. I wish I had the, the full thing because it would tell me what what the notes were. I can't remember what they were, but this is my favorite of the black and white. The white one doesn't really do it for me at all. Someone told me you could layer them. Don't really like that, just like this one. So I've been wearing this pretty much non-stop since I got it in New York. Um, the new, new favorite, I know that's still relatively new, but the new, new favorite, this is my just chilling out, um, is this Natural Collection Brow Gel. I was looking for something to switch out my Benefits Brow, not browsings, what are they called? Gimme Brow, my Benefit Gimme Brow. I wanted to put that one away and pick some more stuff out because I've got lots of makeup that I'm not using and I wanted to kind of um, switch some stuff out. And I have a Shop My Stash video coming up on Thursday in which I do that. Um, and the brow gel that I decided to use was this one. I thought I was gonna need to use um, a pencil underneath it because it is just a brow gel. It doesn't say anything about fibers or anything. It just says brush on brow gel to style and fix. This is so dark. It's amazing. This is all I've got on my brows today, and I know they're not the most defined in the world, but for me, who's got pretty sparse brows, it's really, really good. The only downside is the brush is absolutely huge. It's like a big, fat mascara wand. And when you put that against my brow, it is massive, so I have to be very, very careful. I'm kind of getting to grips with it now. The first time I used it, I gave myself like eyebrows like Jim's dad from American Pie. They were insane, you will see in the video on Thursday. But now I'm kind of getting a handle on how to use it and I'm really, really enjoying it. For the money, I, like, if, if only the brush was smaller, I feel like it would do exactly the same thing for me as Gimme Brow. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use the brush from Gimme Brow in that and see if it really is as good. Um, lastly, makeup wise, this. I have now repainted my nails with Essie Sand Trope, which is Sand Trope, four times without going to any other color. So I'm wearing it right now. It's a little bit chipped and a little bit scuffed up, but you would never know because of the color. It still looks like I have nail polish on. It looks a little bit, you know, polished and nice, but it's a really, really easy neutral color to wear. Um, I love it. That is my favorite at the moment. And I uh, I don't want to paint my nails any other color. I think it's a really nice transitional shade as well because we're going from summer to autumn. I'm not quite ready to wear the really dark vampy shades yet. Really enjoying that. I think I might go for some, some kind of brown. I don't know. It's opening my world. I want to go for maybe like a this kind of colour nail. Would that be horrible? Like a khaki? I don't know. Moving on to some non-beauty favourites. Obviously, we've just come back from holiday. If you haven't seen my vlogs, I will link them below. Um, I don't think all of them are up by now. We still just have the three. Difficult to, to edit down vlogs like that. So I've got three up right now. And I also have my outfits of the day from our holiday as well, if you want to see that. So that was an amazing thing that happened last month. Um, also... Along with that holiday came my, should we say, falling off the wagon of not burning candles. For the past nine months, I've been really good at not burning candles in our living room and in our house in general. Um, I kind of put them all away. A lot of them, I scooped out the wax and used them in wax burners and stuff. I was really big on wax burners this year. Um, and then it comes to autumn winter and I saw all the autumn winter Bath and Body Works candles and I was like, need some and so not only have i bought a million from bath and body works uh, i also went out and bought this new one from village candle i've never used village candle before but i really liked this it is called rendezvous it's cedar grapefruit orange and musk and i really really like it this is huh. it was a bit much then oh i don't know this is like so my kind of fragrance a little bit masculine Kind of sweet but musky, neutralish. Love it. Right now I'm actually burning. If you can see if I kind of twist you over here. There it is. I'm burning um, autumn from Bath and Body Works, which is kind of like a fresh apple scent. This is completely different, but I love it. And I think I, I originally bought this because I knew I had my Bath and Body Works ones and I didn't want to use them all at once because um, obviously I can't get them. I didn't want to use them all up. And so I thought I'll buy another one and that'll put me on. And I've burnt like most of it in a week really really like this uh the other things i want to talk about i've got two tv shows i'm looking at my notes two tv shows and where is it a youtube channel youtube channel shall i switch it back over here now youtube channel is clutterbug if you don't follow her already i've mentioned her tons i love her love her love her i've been i'm actually watching her right now on my apple tv or i was just before i started filming this um if you want some motivation to get moving in your house and get organized, watch her videos, and you will end up with 
five bin liners full of stuff from your house to get rid of. It is amazing. She's so motivating to me. She's so, she just kind of changed something in me. And I think the biggest thing that appealed to me about her was that she is not a um, naturally tidy person. She is a slob, she is a self-professed messy person just like me and it's an effort, it's a struggle to be organized and neat. And I can more take advice from someone who's coming from the same place as me, the same point of reference and she understands the struggle, rather than someone that was naturally neat and organized and is like, oh, it's easy, look at this, just do it like this. It's hard to take advice from someone that just finds something really easy and it just comes naturally to them. Like someone that has always been able to sing and can just sing and it's just, you know, it's just what I can do. It would be kind of beyond them that someone wouldn't be able to sing. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I think I'm so enamored of her because I, I can just relate to her on so many different levels. She's also got a song called Milo, which is a complete coincidence. She's actually um, totally, I'm sitting on my knees and it's not comfortable. She inspired me to make binders for the kids. This is Milo's, Ella has one as well. Um, I'm kind of, it's a work in progress, but binders for the kids. So you start them at the beginning of the year, you keep kind of a record of various different things you can look back at the end of the year, which is a sweet thing, but also as they bring stuff home, so like homework or not homework, but finished things, um, finished homework or um, pictures and drawings and stuff like that. Uh, Cause school sends all kinds of things home, don't they? That you don't want to necessarily throw away, but you've got nowhere to put it. And you've only got so much fridge room. That's where you would put it in this binder. So they've both got one of these, and if there's something that we want to keep, but you don't need to necessarily keep out, you know, like letters, um, then you put it in here, it's brilliant. One of the things that she had in her binder for her kids was a family picture. So at the beginning of the year, they draw a picture of their family, um, which is just kind of, I don't know, it's, I really like it. I'm realizing now it kind of looks like he's given his dad a mustache, which he doesn't have. And then you've got like footprints and handprints. There are various different things, um, and you should check out her video all about it, because it was great, and I'm definitely, still working on ours. But yeah, I just, I love her videos so much and you should definitely check her out. Actual TV stuff, um, two shows are in the forefront of my mind. I suppose three. Cougar Town we rediscovered this week, uh, this month, because it was on box sets. It stopped being on TV about three years ago. We just stopped getting it and it, it went to a different network and the UK just didn't have it. And so we've just caught up on for like three years worth of Cougar Town. Um, we love it, it's a really easy watching show really enjoyed it. Um, another one that we are catching up on again, we're just re-watching, is The Affair, because The Affair season three comes back in November, or at least it comes back in November in the US. I'm really hoping we get it at the same time because, oh, I can't wait longer than that for The Affair. It was such a good show, very raunchy, just a warning, very raunchy, but it's very, very clever. The first season especially, you see an affair, um, from two sides, you see the memory of the affair from the men, from the man's side, and then from the woman's side, and stupid things like how her hair was, or a certain conversation, just little details, along with big details, are completely changed in his memory of the events and her memory of the events, and it's it's just brilliant. Um, you definitely need to check that out, but it is, like I say, quite raunchy. So one for after the children have gone to bed, um, and the other one is. Oh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Lee's not a fan of this. He's not really a big fan of musical things. And if you don't like musicals, you probably won't like this because there's a lot of singing and dancing. Um, but I took to it immediately. Loved it. Really, really funny. If you like parody songs, like the um, stuff that goes viral on YouTube, just generally like kind of funny songs, it, that's the backbone of the show. It is a comedy, but it's a musical comedy. That's everything that I wanted to talk about that I've been really enjoying recently. Um, I'm having a bit of a crisis at the moment because Milo goes to school on Wednesday full time. I'm gonna have full time days to do this. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, um, what how things are gonna change, I don't know. I'm probably gonna film an update as soon as I know. I also kinda wanna film an update and talk about, um, not an update, but a, a chatty video and talk about Sprinkle of Glitter's recent upload because uh, that kind of speaks to me on a thousand levels. Um, but I might do that on my other channel. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, my hair is a mess right now. Please ignore it because we're gonna go swimming in a second. Can you kind of see the, you see those blonde bits there? That's my hair. They're the very blonde bits they're poking out. It's not all that well blended today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't wanna do my hair and then go swimming. Why would you do that? So, yeah, I'll be back chatting to you very, very soon, but on Thursday I do have 
uh, a shop my stash video which is kind of like a get ready with me and hopefully you enjoy that and want to see more because I quite like the idea of that being a series and I'll see you guys then and after then. <laughs> Bye!